Yo, what's everyone? This is Dark Horse here, and I'm going to try not to scream into the mic, but how are we all doing? Welcome back. We're going to be jumping in, and we're going to be continuing our story from where we left off in the last episode. Obviously, this we go facing a dragon uh, legendary duelist or whatever. I think it's the guy who runs Blue Eyes, if I am correct. Obviously, we can battle a lot of duelists, but at this point... Uh, we're just going to continue on with the story and uh, let's see how this goes. I think we should be okay. I know he's really good. What? Like from the beta, from the beta, I went to from the beta. I don't even know where I was going with that. But from the beta, um, he was very tough. He had some phenomenal cards. Did you hear the rumors? They say if you duel here, it'll help you in the battle royale. <laughs> Yeah, that's why everybody staked out spots and formed a queue, even though the tourney hasn't started. A uh, queue? Alright, there we have to hurry. You bring two chairs, you bring four chairs. Kazo, save us spots with those chairs. I have no idea why we're doing that voice. By myself, that's not fair. No way. What's so special about this place? If I was goer, I'd pick a more famous location like Gastrobite. That's why most rumors are false. Don't get me wrong. I feel like, obviously, I'd be more into the story if I knew what I was doing. Not what, what I was doing, but yeah. Right, okay. So I've got a part of a card. Oh, wow. This is a deck monster obtained. Okay. So you can gather cards to build an alternative deck. Um, I'm assuming that... I can't remember what... Well, this kid I can battle, but... Well, I don't want to go to... I want to stay in downtown Goa. Oh, look. It shows you what duel lists are available in the area. So, you know what? We haven't played our first proper duel, really, obviously. I think we battle Ronin. Uh, we will battle Zora. Um, we will run with... Um, the dragon deck's good, but then the spellcast is really solid as well. Also, I think, obviously, I, as much as I said we're going to struggle against uh, this legendary duel list... Um, we can read the cards now, which is a plus. But we'll see. Zora. Okay. Go rock. Yeah, baby. Second to go. Let's go. Second to play. Right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Get ourselves some dual points as well. Um, well, G GP, GY. I can't remember. Okay, so it's not bad. I am able to activate my spell card. Increase my monsters attack by a thousand. Um... Okay, this could be interesting. Okay, summon a monster. Oh, actually, oh, I'm supposed to do something. Darn it. Okay, no, it's fine. So basically, if you're not familiar with this, you can increase the speed of the game through the settings. I kept meaning to do it, but obviously I forgot. So obviously I'm hoping that we might be able to do it from the pause menu in our turn. Okay, so she's... Tribute summon Silver Fang. Obviously, if someone said it would be cool to run a Yu-Gi-Oh theme type deck, so at some point I will attempt to build a Yu-Gi deck based upon the cards that are in this. So like Feral Imp, Silver Fang, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna draw, pick up a card, Cha-Ching. Okay, nice, nice little tribute summon. But before we do that, I want to go to settings. Right, you change settings of background music. Okay, animation speed we want fast. Phase on, 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 on. Um, basic music volume, text speed, fast, camera horizontal, camera vertical. I'm assuming, well, I don't, yeah. I'm hoping that the gameplay should be a lot more smoother now, but yeah. Right, so set the trap face down. Obviously, I think this requires you to send a card from your hand. Tag one face against a thousand attack. Um, the thing is, I could. Mm. Obviously, this requires a tribute summon, but I can send one card from my hand to the graveyard, change the position of one more so your opponent's side of the field. That would be more beneficial if they go with a tribute summon. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to normal summon. And then I'll go with Mr. 2000. It would be great. It could be more beneficial to do that, but I'm not going to. I am going to send a card from my hand to the graveyard just in case she has something that that can decrease our attack and defense of the monster but also it does help us out with our trap card in the long run if we need four spellcasters in the graveyard 
Yeah. So from that point, proceed to the battle phase. I could attack little D, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go straight for 1700. Okay, called by the grave. Okay, so you could choose a target. Obviously, your opponent targets the monster that she is assigned. So she does run some very impressive trap cards. So it's good. We still do 1900 damage. Um, but yeah. No. Right, I just want to... I'm just wondering if you can change dialogue display visuals off, draw display. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Sorry about that, Sky, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Dialogue display visuals off. Yeah. I, I just, I feel like it's so much easier to be able to just, you know, play without the dialogue boxes coming up and slowing things down, really. Um, okay. So, draw four cards. More than likely, you should probably bring out that ace, which is fine. Um, if she has an ace. Okay, she does. Probably Axe Raider. Yeah. I, I thought there was no way they're gonna, she's going to have like some proper top tier. There's no way. And also, I actually want to do something. I want to get, I want to get some. Right, no. It's 2400. It has more attack than me, obviously, which isn't great. Oh, no. Thunder Thunder's effect can activate. I think it was... Karen. Oh, I'll be damned. Her ace monster is 1,500 attack points. But this is good. Because now she's used all of her cards. Obviously, she picks up five cards during the next turn anyway. But at least most of her cards will be destroyed, you know? I just need another spell caster in the graveyard, really. If I can normal summon, activate, and affect the scatter card, then we kind of protect it on that front. Um, but yeah... Okay, draw face. Let's go. Draw five cards. Boom. Not bad. Okay, so we have two of the same trap cards, which is very good for us. Um, obviously, I have summon three monsters, which I am going to do. No. Normal summon. And then I'm going to go Wind Weaver. And then change Axe Raider to defense mode by Tribute in you. Yeah, and then in doing that, I activate Wind Weaver's effect. Send a card to the graveyard, targeting the Axe Raid up. Oh, excuse me. Uh, proceed to the battle phase. And, yeah, destroy that. See, this is good, because now we have obviously four cards we can shuffle back into the deck to activate our trap card. Even if one does get destroyed by a spell of trap card that she has, we still have the other ones to activate unless she pulls two spell cards that could destroy cards. Then, yeah, we're pretty much screwed. Okay, look at your... Oh, okay. Look at your opponent's face down cards. That's good. It's not bad. I definitely want to put that into our deck build. 100%. If she still attacks, then yo, you're crazy. She's not, is she? She... Hey, wait. Okay. Kind of gives me Heartstone vibes in a way as well, to be fair. But yeah, I think we're good. Okay, reduce. Right. Okay. Um, you would have thought that she may have actually... Uh, Gone with a different approach, but that revelation activates. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then. Psh, 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 psh. Done. That leaves us open to attack. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, mate, this is actually a solid hand, you know. Lovely, lovely. So basically what the plan is to normal summon at level 3 to the field. And then what we do is tribute summon. Yep. Get rid of the 1100. Gives us another spellcaster back into the graveyard. And then normal summon our swordsman. I definitely want to like 
the thing is, because this is an English version, yeah, it's so much more beneficial for me to understand in the cards and being able to play more efficiently and better. You know? Um, yeah. Uh, change phases. So when we do it, I want to be able to beat the blue eyes guy. I really do. I want to beat him. Because if we're able to beat him, we should be okay. But he does have some super impressive cards. You know, and obviously we don't have deck builds yet. I know there's some sort of like glitch where you can kind of gain access to it early. But yeah, I definitely do um, want to do that. I want to get the create builder deck thing. Okay, not bad, not bad. So we got our rush, well, obviously not rush rare, but we got her race. Uh, Feral Imp, which obviously I was speaking about Yugi. Called of the Earthbound is what we need, what we want. So basically, look, when your opponent wants to clear attack, you choose the attack target your opponent's for attack. Especially if Blue Eyes was going to attack me, I could direct that to something else. The thing is, is if this guy, Ace Dude, brings out Blue Eyes, I won't have much luck running Multi Strike, but running a Spellcaster type deck would have more hope because of the attack increase and stuff. Okay, so you can. Oh, you can get. I did not know that. Nah, I don't want to check it out. I, that's cool. I did not know that. But yeah, here we go. Right. In a world where things are not what they seem. There's not much light around here. I can hardly see a thing. I'll crank up Kezu's lights. He might overheat, but that's a risk we'll have to take. <laughs> My eyes, they're burning. There we go. Look. It's Otis. That's his name, Otis, the blue eyes dude. You finally arrived. I knew it'd be you. Oops, I forgot you've never met him. That's Otis. Well, who he is, uh, is a mystery. Yuga had to duel against him to a blood rush duels, and he shows up from time to time where, when we least expect it. <laughs> I learned that you have found a new ally in your quest to spread rush duels. I wanted to meet this individual myself, so I invited you here today. The only way I know how. So you're the one who spread the false rumors in order to draw us here. What? Are you saying there's no barbecue? When you heard they're forming a queue, did you think it was a barbecue? No I think Otis has noticed that you have a special powers. I wish to test the potential of your power with a rush duel. I wonder if it's possible to win. Otis is a very strong duelist. Make sure you're ready to face him before you do. Mate, I've got no choice. You Good. Let's begin. I'm ready for the rush. Right. Okay. Logical would be this choice. Spellcaster. Um, the, the the dragon deck does run very good cards and impressive cards, but I definitely think we'd be better off running. Yeah. Otis. The battle we've all been waiting for. The blue eyes white dragon. Right, I'm going to go second, because if he brings Blue Eyes straight off the bat, at least we kind of know what we're working with here. Okay, um, I have three possible monsters, which is not bad. Obviously, it's three spellcasters out. Um, allow me to use my trap card. Um, I don't really care about your little reptile. Unbelievable. Oh, he went X-Raider. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Still sick, man. It's still sick. It's, it's kind of a nice, like, break from the duel type of thing. Okay, so you've gone with that. I, the, uh, I need an effect monster. Put it in defense mode. Wind. Oh, I've got no choice. I'm going to have to set. I'm going to have to hide. The problem is I need to, I need to, I need to build something here. <laughs> See, it's great being able to attack directly, but it's pointless. Um, there's no point going with that because we won't have thingy. The trap card will activate next turn. We should have more cards out. Why would I proceed to the battle phase with defense position monsters? I knew it'd be tough, but... Come on, man. We can work with... Uh. 
We need to create a deck. Hey, okay, battle phase. This is fine. Um, I am. I'm. Right. This is my plan. I'm gonna stall. I'm gonna get him to keep destroying my cards. Okay. Right. I'm gonna normal summon. Activate your effect. Discard Mystic Dealer. Although I could get rid of. Get rid of you. Okay. Uh, not exactly the greatest. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to figure out how we play this. I'll tribute it. I'll play that face down. I need him to bring his blue eyes out. 100%. I need him to bring it out. But the problem is, he runs... Uh, even by destroying the blue eyes, he has cards that are evil, allowing him to be able to bring it back. You know, kind of like Silver's Cry, you know, Call of the Haunted. Um, Rise of the... Is it Rise of the Dragon Lords? I can't remember. Uh, okay, Lesser Fiend. Or is it Lesser Dragon? It's one of the two. Okay. Fair play. Okay. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Right. I'm probably going to have to use my trap here. And then be able to attack directly next turn. But then I think he has a card like Mirror Force. I don't know. I can't remember. Right. Activate. Obviously, it is basically hit and miss here. I'll go one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'd rather him use them on there. Oh, no. Okay, it's Axe Raider. We'll skip it. We don't need a summoning animation more than once. Okay, so that's the trap card I was regarding when he brings Blue Eyes back from the graveyard. Um, I could discard a card or pick up a card anyway. I ain't going down like this. No, I need, I need to win. I need to win. I will win, Otis. This is the power of rush doors. Okay, I can normal summon discard a card. Um, yeah, normal summon. Activate your effect. On, bless me. Oh, God, I may as well normal summon. I think you can activate their effect multiple times. Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Right. Get rid of Spell Archer. Give me a monster that requires a tribute. Oh, my God. It's fine. It's fine. Yes. To the battle phase. Right. You attack Lesser Dragon. All of the Earthbound targets. Okay, well played. You have me target Axe Raider. I need to draw out these trap cards. <sighs> it's a pain. Uh, change phases. End my turn. Okay, I'm going to take 1400 and then 200. That's 16, leaving me with 51. No. Yeah, 51. And if he summons, okay. Is he going to bring Blue Eyes out now? No. It, mate, it can't be an Abrax Raider, surely. Okay, well played. This guy, he's definitely Kyber in his own way. You know, with the high-level monsters, all-out attack. El Destructo, you know what I mean? Okay. So attacks that for 200. Yep. I take 1400 damage now. Okay, I take the 1100. It's at 54. And then rounds me down to 3000. Imagine if he rounded me down to 3000 and beat me with blue eyes. I have to pull. Put, the only thing I can really pull is my ace. It's really all I can go for. 
Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to figure some out how I want to play this. But yeah. Um, uh, actually. By normal summon, bring you out. Attack. The problem is... Alright, so be it. What do I do? Normal summon. Um, normal summon. Discard you. Yeah, normal summon. Tribute you. I really want to activate my card's effect, but then I'm thinking if you run the same trap card, then you might direct my attack anyway. So I may as well stick to a monster that, you know what? Sometimes you've got to play it risky, sometimes you've got to play it safe. Right, here we go. Go! Summit's Road Magician! This is a pro this is a problem. This is a very big problem at this point because I'd be 2100, which means I have to get rid of Axe. Ah, I should have put Axe Raider in defense mode. Just gotta hope it doesn't redirect my attack. If it redirects my attack, it's game over. Okay, we're clean, we're clean, we're through. But, yeah. It's not totally in our court. This is one thing I like, is the fact these duels are so tough. He could potentially go blue eyes, but I don't think he will. Oh my god, has he? I don't think he runs Gaia as well. Axe Raider again. Okay. But the thing is, because now he has other cards. This is where, obviously, picking up five cards sucks sometimes. Because now he'll attack do 900 and then probably wipe me out. Oh, the only hope I have is a possible... Yeah. If I could pull the two Mirror Force Trap cards and a Spellcaster Monster, we're fine. Come on. Bro, all monsters. Are you mad? I'm not happy about that. Alright, set you in defense mode. Normal summon. Alright, bring you out for 17. Actually, no, 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 no. I know I. I can't get rid of all my monsters because I'm going to need some cards to normal summon. So my only possible play is to actually go with the change the phases, battle phase. Attack and destroy you. Don't change the battle target. Thank you. Okay. Do you have an effect that activates? No. Alright, and our turn there. Okay. The worst part is he hasn't even brought blue eyes out, which is scary. No. That will attack. It depends, because he could tribute someone and go into blue eyes. 1500 defense. Even computers thinking. I haven't seen him run this slow since Link Evolution. Okay. Feral Imp will attack, obviously dealing damage to yourself. 200 damage. That means I'll put that into attack mode. I want to possibly pull Windmaker. Oh, that's... Oh, that could not have worked out better. Oh, yes. That's amazing. As long as he doesn't destroy my spell of trap card. Um, right, normal summon. Activate your effect. Discard Strange Cat. Pick up a card. Come on, work with me here. Oh, you naughty, naughty. You naughty, naughty. Tribute. 
Right. Change battle position to attack mode. I have the protection I need. I could... Oh, you know what? We're going for it. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, so I was supposed to send a card from my... Ah, sugar. No, we're fine. We're fine. Ugh, I, set, I kind of set myself up there, really, for a failure. But we're fine. Okay. We'll destroy you. I suppose it, it means we can kind of save it for blue eyes if needed. But I don't really have any. I need to save my trap card for blue eyes, if anything. Okay. Worm's gone. Which means Axe Raider will obviously come out. I'm hoping he may possibly summon more monsters. And then go blue eyes and then we activate our trap card but then he may no nah, he would have brought him out to the field anyway yeah we're fine I think okay no normal summon oh no oh wow that could have that could have went so much worse I forgot it had hammer shot Send one face of monster. Oh, okay. Send two cards from your hand. Oh, okay. 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 Right, this is good. We we Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. We can turn we can turn this around. Right. We need we need the best card. Right, we've got to get seven roads back in there. We need We need some high levels. Uh 1500. Uh Um I will take a Mystic Dealer. And a... You know what? Take two. Yeah. Done. Right. Boom. Au revoir. 1734. We need a high level monster. We have five cards. We can win. We can win this. We have done it. Beat the Otis. Oh my god. Stop it, you dirty, naughty devil. Right. Flip you into attack mode. Got to bring. Oh wait, 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 wait. Right. First off, tribute. The more we have in the graveyard, the better. I think it's based on attributes anyway. Right. And then we go. What's this? Does this increase the attack. I right, destroy one spell of trap card. Your opponent controls. Okay. One and two. Out comes seven roads magician. Done, done, da -da done, done, done. Right, okay. In doing that, I activate my monster's effect, increasing his attack by 300. Yeet. Not 300, but like, yeah, thingy. And then proceed. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Change the battle phase. Oof. Attack. Hey, our sorcerer. Attack. Seven roads, magician. Finish him. This tool will help me improve my game. I attack I you directly. I take great pleasure in that. I really take. I I absolutely take such a good pleasure in beating Otis that is phenomenal I have no idea how that happened but it did you guys you witnessed it here first you know what I mean jeez first time first attempt so I'm just wondering yeah if um what happened if you lost that was incredible you did it! Wow! I can't believe you were able to defeat Otis! That's why you deserve to serve in my court. Your spirit power will take you far as long as you nurture it. Its strength is still in its infancy. But by, but by encountering many different duelists, you will open a new road. And only you can choose where it leads. I want to know more about your spirit and how it works. How about you enter the Battle Royale? If you do, you can get in touch with lots of spirits. More than you ever have before. I'm getting goosebumps. 
You're right, Yuga. In the Battle Royale, you definitely compete against many duelists. Nice. And have fun doing it. That's why I'm entering too. I'll take this means on. you'll be another rival competitor for Goha makes your dream come true, boobity boop ticket. But that's fine, bro. I'll give you permission to enter the tournament. Huh? None of us ever needed your permission. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes are burning again! Go on, Enterprise, there's another Mondo announcement. Wow, <laughs> greetings, Earthlings. Like Haley's Comet, the Goya Rush Duel Battle Royale is pro fast approaching. In fact, the tournament starts tomorrow. Will we? You should all return to your home planets and get your decks in shape. Toodles. What? Tomorrow? That's sudden. Yeah, what's the rush? It's getting late. Let's get a. Uh, don't worry, I did acknowledge the pun. Let's get a good night's rest and be ready for the Battle Royale tomorrow. The next day. Oof. The thing is, if there's, like, dialogue, then obviously I'll play it, but we're going to end the episode here. Okay. No. There's dialogue. Greetings, Earthlings. I flew back from the dark side of the moon for Goho's Enterprise Special Event. Today's... Start of the Goya Rush Duel Battle Tournament Battle Royale, whatever. As you rush duel through Goya City, you'll gain points depending on the outcome of your match. The duelists who rack up lots of points will be ranked at the top and be one step close to the grand prize, the Dream Maker ticket. Each competitor will receive a license card. Your duel records will be logged on your license cards, so don't lose it. If you do, you'll be DQ'd on the spot and feel a wary. Without further ado, let's begin the festivities. Earthlings start dueling. Okay, cool. It's go time. So this is a license card. It looks similar to a normal duelist ID card. So let's just say we have to reach the top. Quick, tell me, what's the highest spot in the city? Oh my god. That's not what she meant. That's what she... What she meant is that you have to win a lot of duels to reach the top of the rankings. Let's try our best to rank high in the standings. Since you were able to defeat Otis, I'm sure you can handle this tournament on your own. I'm wondering if you have to beat Otis. Like, the game would re-do like re -do the battle. Alert, alert, duelist detected. There are many duelists in the park. Try going there. Right, you set your character icon a title. Okay. Right. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. We're going to wrap the episode up there. It's very interesting. If you guys enjoyed the dueler with me going up against Otis, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Peace.